Hello and welcome to Lincoln View High School for tonight's sectional final matchup between the Allen East Mustangs and the Wayne Trace Raiders. I'm Nate Garlock alongside Danny Holbrook. And Danny, we already saw one exciting sectional final, uh, the game prior to this one, and we are on tap for another one here tonight. Yeah, absolutely. You take a look at Wayne Trace, and they're led by Gracie Shepard. And here's the cool part about Gracie Shepard. She's a six-foot post player. She leads this team in three-point percentage. She can knock down the shots, and she goes down, and she can defend the post. And then you look at Allen East, and they've got double trouble with Savannah Brooks and Riley Jones, 15 points a game and 12 points a game, and they're really good guards that get after it. So we have a stoppage here already between the officials as they're going to want to talk about it to see what happens as... The opening tip was controlled by Allen East and went out of bounds. Fun fact, we didn't know the Wayne Trace crowd stands for the <laughs> Sometimes you just learn things the hard way, Danny. <laughs> I believe they're going to stand until they get a bucket. First basket of the game goes to number 12, Rylan Jones, the sophomore guard, second team NWC, opens the scoring. Yeah, and Rylan Jones is really good. She's automatic when she gets to the rim like that. See that Mustang defense coming to play here early as they get a quick turnover. Here's Ryland, kicks it back out. Extra pass to the top of the key. L. Richardson moves around the right side, gets it back up top. I had the Lady Mustangs a couple weeks ago at Bluffton, and Ryland Jones, I called her the microwave because she was just so hot that game, and she just took over offensively. And the sophomore guard is really good when it comes down to crunch time. Wayne Trace defense stepping up here on this possession, not letting a lot of space happen. Finally, Allen East gets it to the inside, going to have a tie up here. The officials are going to, I believe, call jump ball as they're pointing in opposite directions here. So another conversation between the officials. Allen East is going to want an up-tempo game. You, you know, you look at both these teams, and Wayne Trace only averages 38 points a game. Allen East goes at 52 a game, so they want to get up and run the floor. Wayne Trace wants to turn this into a half-court set, and you're seeing some pressure right away by Allen East. They want those guards to get on that ball and defend it. So Ryland Jones jumps in there, knocks that one out of bounds. It'll stay with the Raiders. Allen East in that full-court press, causing some issues here in the early going. I love how Allen East just sits back in that press, and you're going to have to move that ball around or you're not going to make it up just like that. They're going to speed up Wayne Trace, and that's not Wayne Trace's game right now. Harper Myers had to try to do something with that quickly as the 10-second call was coming quick. Ends up throwing that one away, so it's going to go back to the Mustangs. Rylan Jones brings it up for Allen East. They have the early 2-0 lead. Shot on its way by Brooks. That one's going to be short. Going to be gathered in by the Raiders. Brooks is the leader of this team. She averages 15 points a game. She's really good when it comes to the offensive sets. And what we're not talking about here is Wayne Trace may have the biggest win of the, of the whole tournament right now. They upset Parkway. A big win by the Raiders. So we'll take a look at tonight's starters for both teams, starting first for the Wayne Trace Raiders. They're going to start number five, Harper Myers, number 20, Gracie Shepard, number 22, Kareen Winnens, number 23, Lexi Moore, and number 24, Caroline Winans. Excuse me. Take a look at the starters for Allen East. They are going to start number five, Kennedy Truex, number 10, Savannah Brooks, number 12, Ryland Jones, number 14, Aubrey Young, and number 24, L. Richardson. So the Raiders still here on offense. So he's trying to split the defense was Winans. Going to have a loose ball. It's going to get picked up, and it's going to go up. Lexi Moore can't get it to go down, but she's going to make a trip to the free throw line. Nice job by Lexi Moore of recognizing what the defense gets. As soon as she picked it up, went right to the rim. Good hustle by that young lady. Lexi Moore at the free throw line, lining up her first shot. Shot is up, and it is good. Hey, I'm going to have a seat. <laughs> Very happy about the first made points for Wayne Trace. <laughs> Means that we get to take a seat as well <laughs> as we have the Wayne Trace faithful in front of us. Second free throw good as well. We are tied at two. <laughs> Wayne Trace is just extending that defense all the way out to almost the volleyball line. They're going to force Allen East to put the ball on the deck and go towards the rim. Bad pass that time by Ryland Jones leads to a turnover. Basketball is going to go back to Wayne Trace. So 
So not quite the same pressure that time up the court, but still not letting it come up easily was Allen East. Great job jumping that pass was Kennedy Truex. That one's going to go out of bounds and stay with the Raiders. Yeah, they're going to do everything they can to push that ball down to number 20, Gracie Shepard, the six-foot post player, leading scorer on this team. And she's got a, a height advantage down there right now. They want to do everything they can to push the ball through her hands. So here's Winans. Gets it back over. As Kareen Winans now works into the corner, gets it down to Harper. Excuse me, that's Moore. Lexi Moore gets it up, no good. Second chance by Gracie Shepard. That one goes down. Wayne Trace has their first lead of the game. We want to talk about why weak side rebounding is so important. You saw it right there as Shepard gets on the weak side and gets the ball and takes it right back up. Long pass back over to Jones. As L. Richardson able to gather it in, but it is taken away. We're going to have a jump ball as Lexi Moore and L. Richardson were tied up, and the possession arrow will favor the Mustangs. A lot of groans on that one. <laughs> when Trace Faithful thought that should have been a foul. Savannah Brooks going to trigger the inbounds, but not before we have a substitution. You see number 20, Dylan Miller, coming into the game as Aubrey Young is going to take a seat. Brooks, long pass out as Miller now finds it on the inside. Extra pass. Here's Brooks. Brooks kicks it out to Jones. Jones going to move around into the lane. Cuts through traffic. Can't get that one to go down, but another opportunity for the Mustang. That one's going to come up just short as L. Richardson had a good look at it, but the defender might have gotten just a piece of that basketball to misdirect it. But after all that, Allen East will get another opportunity as Savannah Brooks can go out of bounds one more time. Well, there you see why offensive rebounding is so important. You give yourself opportunities to get second chance points. And when you do that, you're usually close to the basket. And there's going to be a lot of action. And that's what you see is a foul on Wayne Trace. So Harper Myers is going to pick up that foul. That is Harper's first. Here's Miller, back over to Jones. Jones tried to go with the right hand, but gets cut off. As very active is the Wayne Trace defense right now on the inside. Jones, long three-pointer, that one's up, no good. Chased down by Winans. Well, we Winans and Jones get tied up, gonna be another whistle as Ryland Jones is gonna get whistled for the foul. We saw it in the first game. We see Allen East right now settling for three-pointers because that Wayne Trace zone is causing them so much problems and they can't get to the rim. Active hands from Wayne Trace, so Allen East is going to have to figure out, get somebody in the middle and get that ball towards the rim. Caroline Weinert, Winans brings it up for Wayne Trace, working against Miller. She drops it off. This is Abby Moore. Moore had come into the game for Harper during the last stoppage. So you can see Kareen that time thought about the three-pointer but moves it around. Miller kicks this one as it goes out. Lexi Moore on the opposite side of Gracie Shepard. You got two six-foot post players out there. And you know, we saw a six-foot player or six foot five player in the earlier game, but you got two bookends here at six foot. So it's a big time advantage for the Raiders. Long pass goes out to Caroline. As we have both Caroline and Kareen Winans in this game. So we're gonna try to do first names for those two so we can keep them straight. <laughs> gonna be a turnover though. We're gonna end up back in the hands of Ryland Jones. Savannah Brooks now, she's going to move around. Been quiet here so far, tries to get to the basket. Going to have a foul on the floor prior to the shot, though. Well, that, they're going to get Gracie Shepard on the foul. No, it looks like they got Abby Moore. I thought they had Gracie Shepard on that one, but it's going to go on Abby Moore. So Moore picks up her first foul. That's the team's second. Basketball goes back out of bounds. Active hands by the Raiders. Allen East able to keep this one, though. As right now, Allen East not finding a lot of luck. We saw one or a couple of times Allen East has tried to drive, but Wayne Trace did a nice job of getting into those lanes, causing some issues. They try to go inside there. Good pull-up jumper. That one's no good. And, and that's what I'm talking about, Nate, is getting somebody to the middle and attacking that rim from the, from the high post. And that's a good job of Allen East. That's a good shot. They just missed the shot. Green gets trapped, ends up losing the basketball. He will gather it back in, gets it over to Caroline. She drops it over to Moore. Moore's going to drive baseline, has to pass it back out. Caroline tries to go inside. That one gets taken away by Richardson. Well, that's a great job by Richardson in recognizing the low post. And she dives down and she gets a steal. That's a lot of hustle. 
Going to have a, another foul on the Raiders. I believe this is going to be two on Abby Moore, and it is as you see Harper Myers coming back into the game. Anytime you got a starter with two fouls in the first quarter, that's not a good thing for Wayne Trace. And unfortunately for them, they have Harper Myers with two, the starter, and then her backup now has two as well. Let's see if they don't switch defenses here and protect those players. We got one on the bench and one out there. Going to be a travel. Ryland Jones just a little bit too excited that time to get going. Picked up her feet prior to dribbling. You, know, you talk about, <clears throat> excuse me, talk about Ryland, a sophomore, still young, averages over 12 points a game, very successful. But with these young players, you're still going to have a little bit of growing pains from time to time. You'll see some of those mental things, and that's all that was right there. Well, with absolutely. They, you know, there's, you're, you're, you're talking about 14, 15 year old girls out here who are really young and, and, and not just in age, but in playing time and experience. So she's going to get better. She's going to be a really good player for that program. Absolutely. Green gets cut off. It's true X forces her to come back outside. And here's Miller. Works against Caroline. She goes to, tries to go inside again. And it's going to be a loose ball. Caroline picks it up. She's going to run baseline. Kicks it back out. Lexi Moore has it. She drops it off to Shepard. Gracie can't find anywhere to go with it. Allen East almost getting all of these basketballs, but somehow Wayne Trace has kept possession. Yeah, Allen East is doing a really good job of recognizing up top and double team and, and taking out the passing lanes. And there's just nowhere to put the ball if you're Wayne Trace. Myers drops it off on the inside. Shepard has to kick it back out. And Kareen Winans gets the three-pointer off the glass. Well, Taylor Nichols did a great job for Allen East to wall it up and didn't leave her feet. And Shepard tried to spin around her, and she does a great job. Wayne Trey's out to the early 7-2 lead. Miller gives the pass to Brooks, finds Truex in the corner for two. Her shot's going to be off. Brooks chases down the rebound. She gets it back. She's going to fire for two. She's off. Put back is up off the glass. That one's no good. And we finally have a whistle as Harper Myers is going to get whistled for the foul. And that is actually going to be two. Harper had came out with only one earlier. She now picks up her second foul. Yeah, that's a big foul right there. But you're seeing Allen East on the offensive boards. They're dominating right now. And that's a, that's impressive by the, by the smaller Mustangs. But they're getting after it on the offensive board. And they're giving their team multiple chances. See, number 50, Taylor Nichols, has come in for Allen East to give them a little bit of size down low. She's calling for the basketball is Jones. Double clutched it. She's going to get fouled. Going to go back to the free throw line. Yeah, that's a great job by, penetra by Jones penetrating to the rim and getting up. I've said it before, you know, three things are going to happen. You're going to make it, miss it, or get fouled. And two are good. So nice job by that young guard. Ryland Jones lines up her first free throw. It's on its way, and it is good. Ryland Jones is a 70% free throw shooter. She leads this team in free throws with 102 shots so far this season. And, and, and you think there's a correlation between getting to the rim and getting, leading your team in free throws? <laughs> Caroline Winans back into the game. That one rattles down. So 7-4, Wayne Trace on top. As Allen East comes back quickly into their full court pressure, Nichols is going to pick up a foul. Just a little bit too aggressive on that closeout as she got the Gracie Shepard, knocked her over. You saw what Nichols did there. If she just stands her ground, Shepard can't go around her, but she moves in too quick and she bumps into her. So Nichols will have a seat as Winan brings the basketball up for Wayne Trace. Kareen looking for somewhere to go with the ball. Decides to keep it herself. Alan East has done a nice job defensively to keep Wayne Trace from being able to get inside and use that height as an advantage. Loose ball, Miller trying to track it down, going to go out of bounds, and he'll stay with the Raiders. Well, they're trying to get one of those two post players to come up on the high post and set a screen, and the other one's going on the back side, but unfortunately, they're not going off those screens, and they can't find their post players down low. Ryland Jones. Very active hands, gets into the passing lane, knocks it back out of bounds. You know, and these might seem like nothing as the kind of the start stops, but they build sure. up and they build to some frustration. And another turnover as Ryland Jones gets onto that one. And, and that's really all you're trying to do. You're trying to cause a lot of frustration in that full court press so that way you can get extra possessions like this one. Yeah, we're trying to speed them up and, and make mistakes and get the ball back. That's what you, exactly what you're saying, Nate. 
Jones going to try to cut again. Right hand can't go out of bounds. Last touch by Wayne Trace. I still like the effort from Ryland Jones of doing what she needs to do to get to the rim. And it looked a little held her scutter there. She was a little out of control. But you know what? She got to the rim. The ball goes back to Allen East. Brooks with the long inbounds to Miller. Miller all alone. She lets the three-pointer go. That one's no good. As Alexi Moore pulls that one down for Wayne Trace. Ten seconds left to go. Shepard got to pay attention to the clock. Two, one, gets rid of it. Moore lets it go. They're going to say it's good, and she did get it off prior to the buzzer, but can't get it to fall. That brings the first quarter to a close. Wayne Trace is on top, 7-4. to four. We'll step aside and be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's instant replays are sponsored by Sites Grocery. Stop into Sites on Harding Highway in Lima for your discount groceries, meat packs, deer processing, full service meat and deli. Having a large event? Sites also caters. Give us a call. Right of us, and uh, he's got the Wayne Trace Boys program really playing well right now. We got to see Brooks walk off in that crew last week. You and I did. My goodness, they're playing good basketball. Yeah, they do. They'll be fun to watch in the tournament as the boys tournament got underway this week. Or I'm sorry, excuse me, gets underway next week. And lots of exciting basketball as we have a sectional title hanging in the balance tonight. Wayne Trace, as you mentioned, already coming off an upset, knocking off Parkway in the semifinals, looking to pull off another upset here and come away with the title. Yeah, so far so good. Nice job of getting the ball down low. Shepard can't connect. This one's going to go out of bounds. It's going to stay with Wayne Trace. Gracie Shepard had to work through a lot of contact underneath there to get that one up. Well, she, it's good post position, but she got a little too far under the basket. When she tried to come up, she tried to had to arch her back a little bit to try to get the shot off, and he just went off the back iron. Pass goes back out to Miller. Miller gets that one to rattle in for two. Boy, that was a friendly roll. What did it went from the back of the rim to the front to the side? Elise Miller's checking into the game to start this second quarter and immediately makes your impact felt. Here's Brooks. Brooks, the leading scorer on this team was held scoreless there in the first quarter. They are looking to try to see if they can't get her going. Nice find down low for Truex, and Truex finishes. Yeah, that's a great job on the backside cut. She found the open spot and an even better pass down low. Excuse me, that was actually L. Richardson with the great play. As you see, the senior with six points a game and another turnover. Ryland can't connect. They're going to have a foul as Ryland will get whistled for this, this one. It'll be her second foul, I believe. Team's fifth. And she's going to have to come out of the game as we see number 14, Aubrey Young, check back in. And Coach uh, Montgomery is imploring Rylan Jones to get to the rim. She took that shot from the foul line, and he's telling her, you had the position. Get to the rim. Well, and he's keeping with the pressure, trying to get another turnover. Well, that was dangerously <laughs> close to a backdoor or back, uh, backcourt violation, excuse me. And we're going to have an offensive foul as Gracie Shepard went a little bit out of control. A good job that time to pick up the offensive foul for Allen East. Well, I'm going to tell you, and you're going to see it on the replay, Nate. She, uh, she turns her head, and when she turned her head, her body went right into the defender. Savannah Brooks now brings it up for Allen East. Find themselves down three. Down in the corner. Brand Richardson had it, and we're going to have the basketball going back to the Raiders. Going to have a foul. This one's going to go on number 14. That's Young. It's going to be her first as we see Dylan Miller come back into the game. Allen East really using their bench here in the second quarter. Yeah, well, I think they they want to up-tempo the game, and they want to move this thing along, but Wayne Trace is doing a terrific job on the defensive end of not allowing anything. And then we see a mental mistake on the other end as Kareen Winans gets called for the travel and the inbounds. And that's what that speeding up will do. As Kareen just felt like she had to get rid of it really fast because she knew the pressure would be coming and picked up her feet prior to doing so. That's exactly what they meant to do. Unforced errors can kill you. Long three-pointer by Brooks. No good. Rebound ripped down by Lexi Moore. Well, I think Savannah Brooks, if she took a step in, that, that was all line. It was a good shot. She was way out there. Kareen gets it over to Caroline. So Caroline works around with the right hand, trying to get through. 
Good defense by Young to keep her from going into the entry. Going to try the opposite side, but Young's going nowhere. Long pass over to Kareen. Kareen's going to drive. Right hand off the glass. It rattles down. That was a really nice job of Kareen Winans to get to the rim. And she went baseline and did a really nice job. Back out to a five-point lead for the Raiders. 11-6, 5.37 left to go here in the half. Here's Dylan Miller, tries to go inside. And this time it is Truex. Kennedy Truex comes up with a big basket. Let me tell you what Kennedy Truex did. She got her man on the backside, and she turned to her right. There was nobody there. That was a terrific job of getting her body in a great position to score. Well, good job by Carolyn Winans to get out of trouble, but then ran into another Mustang. She gets it up ahead to Miller. Miller kicks it back out. Truex, she's going to get called for the travel. Yeah, she just got in a little bit of a hurry. She thought about that three-pointer, but realized that that lane was wide open that time. And just got a little bit too excited as we're going to have a timeout on the floor. So with 5.09 left to go here in the half, Wayne Trace is on top, 11 to 8. We'll step aside and be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's scoreboard is presented by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpock, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Wayne Trace with the basketball coming out of the timeout. So they have the three-point lead. I'd love to see Gracie Shepard, when she catches the ball at the high post, turn and square up to the basket and force Nichols to come out and defend her a little bit. Here's Kareen trying to go Just somewhere with the basket. She does get it to Gracie, who kicks it back out. Looking for the screen right now. Going to roll, and that one gets hung up by Brooks. Brooks gets it on the run out, has it poked away from behind. Great play by Elise Miller. As a, it was a quick hustle play and didn't want to pick up the foul, but slowed the offense down by making it go out of bounds. Well, Savannah Brooks did a great job of getting out when the ball got loose, and she had a chance, and there she looked at that. She was the trigger man on that. She steps into the, we call it the quiet corner, the dead corner, whatever you want to call it, but she got into that, that low post position, and she gets an easy bucket. And it was great recognition by L. Richardson, too, to go with a quick pass to the inside as Brooks gets the two-point up to make this a one-point deficit. Down low for Gracie Shepard as she gets that one up. And there you see Gracie Shepard getting great post play down low, and she got a really good position, gets the ball down low, an easy bucket. You see Wayne Trace now coming out really far here in this half-court offense, putting a little bit of pressure on the Mustangs as Truex goes baseline. Her shot is up, and that one goes down. Nate, did you see the ball movement there? That's exactly what you need to do against a zone like that. That ball has to come out quick. You've got to go side to side, and you saw the penetration on the baseline was there. And that pass ends up in the backcourt. Young tries to track it down, and just an unfortunate chain of events for Allen East is that looked like it was going to be a free turnover going the Mustangs way. Miller tries to chase it down, or Young, excuse me, tries to chase it down with the hustle play. Gets tied up and then ends up with the foul for her troubles. Yeah, I, I don't fault Aubrey Young for that play. I mean, that was a hustle play, and she did a great job of trying to get the ball. Nobody else moved. She was the only Mustang that went towards the ball. Going to have substitution coming into the game. Number 22, Bryn Richardson, the freshman. As Wayne Trace is in the bonus. So Caroline Winans goes to the free throw line. First shot is up. That one is good. <laughs> Caroline is a 54% free throw shooter. She lines up her second shot. This one's going to be short. She's a 6.2 a game scorer. She's got one on the night. Brooks gets another three-point try. That one's going to be short as well. As you know, you pointed out the last time, her line looks good. She's just a little bit deep and yeah. putting these off the front of the rim. And that's credit to Wayne Trace defense. They're forcing her back a little bit. She needs to just step up. Her shots are online. Kareen drops it off to Shepard. Shepard down low to Moore. Lexi Moore, turnaround jumper. That one hangs on the rim and drops. That's exactly why Shepard needs to square up to the basket. When you've got another six-foot post player, just play high-low. That's just math right there. Your numbers are better than mine. 
Great touch on the basketball as well. Didn't try to go too hard or fast with it. Gave it an opportunity to go down. Nichols back into the game, kicks it out. Miller, it looked like maybe she thought about shooting it, decided to put it on the floor. And when you go into the teeth of that defense, trying to pass through the, the long arms there of Lexi Moore, not a lot of good things typically happen. Brooks, that time stepped in, decided she didn't want to take those long threes anymore and gets that one to go. Well, she got in her range, and right there you saw how good a shooter she can be. She stepped up to the line, and she nailed that one. You know, when that first one let go, I thought maybe she was going to be a little <laughs> bit too hard on that one. But it ends up going in a big three-pointer, and that makes this a one-point game. 2.10 left to go here in the half. Wayne Trace with the basketball in the lead. It's Kareen. Gets it down to Moore. Back out to Caroline. She's trying to look down low. Gracie Shepard trying to fight for position. Kareen works through the screen, drops it off to Grace Shepard on the slip pass. As Gracie ends up on the floor, we're going to have a tie up. And possession arrow favors the Mustangs. So what Wayne Trace is doing here, Nate, they've got their post player at the high post. They've got Moore down low. When, when Moore's not open, their shooters are wide open on the wings. All they have to do is take one dribble. The backside help goes to the ball, and, that, and they're wide open. Or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> If, if it doesn't work like that, then it's, that's, that's your call. You're, you're doing play-by-play. -play. <laughs> <laughs> Another close game for the sectional title as Brooks weaves in and out of traffic. What a great play to get that one in. Yeah, it was a really nice step through by Brooks. She just went baseline and turns around, goes to the high post, or to the low post, excuse me. Three-pointer on its way as Caroline ends up just short, but we have a whistle. We'll have a loose ball foul. I think they're going to get That's going to go Lexi on Moore. Lexi Moore. It yeah. is. She had the push. Well, he, I could have swore he said 23. But there is no 23 for Alan East. That's why we believed it was on Lexi yeah. Moore. It turns out that one's going to go on well, L. Richardson. Lexi Moore said something to him, and he said something to her, and then he come over and gives the 23 signal. That's what I thought the call was. I'm kind of confused. Up on the scoreboard, they assess that foul, though, to number 24, L. Richardson. Hmm. So she checks out of the game. As you see, Lexi Moore make her first free throw. And maybe that was just a mistake on the official's part. Maybe he didn't mean to go 23, so, you know. That one rattles down as well as Wayne Trace is back on top one. Ryland Jones back in the game, gets it over to Brooks. Brooks goes baseline, gets cut off, gets it back out to Jones. Jones tries for the slip pass, able to get into the hands of Truex. Spin, shot up, no good. Fight for the loose ball. Ends up in the hands of the Mustangs. Extra pass, Brooks, she's going to put it on the floor. Floater in the lane, and she's going to get blocked. And I think this one is going to go, it's either going to go on a Gracie Shepard or Lexi Moore. They're going to say they, it was on Moore. So yeah. Lexi Moore this time does pick up the foul. I'm positive it was 23 this time. <laughs> Savannah Brooks makes a trip to the free throw line. She is an 82% free throw shooter on the season. As we only have 50 seconds left to go here in the half. I really like the Mustangs putting Brooks down in the corner. She's creating a lot of offense by getting to the rim. She's doing a great job. Next on her first, as more substitutions come in, we see number 32, 32 Tori Sin for Wayne Trace come in. And Brynn Richardson's check back in for the Lady Mustangs. Brooks second free throw, no good. Nichols see Gracie, almost, yeah. <laughs> Gracie Shepard did end up coming down with it. Almost walked with it, and then a bad pass, but luckily it's gathered in by Caroline. Caroline Winans now back around the logo, looking to work through the screen. Dylan Miller's really playing good defense on the ball. That's really good on-ball defense. Shepard looking for somewhere to go with it, has to kick it back out. As Caroline's going to try to direct the traffic here. Looking for a little bit of space. Drops it off to Kareen. Kareen gets it back down into the corner. Wayne Trace trying to go to the inside, but not having very good luck getting something free. Finally tried to force it down low, but Gracie Shepard can't gather it in, and that is going to bring the first half to a close. 
Well, partner, we got nothing more than we had when we started the game. We're all knotted up. It is 18 all in an exciting sectional final here at Lincoln View High School. We'll step aside for halftime. Be back on WOSA. Welcome back to tonight's scoreboard. It's presented by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and Lima Walpaw Game Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Welcome back to Lincoln View High School. I'm Nate Garlock alongside Danny Holbrook. Sectional title hangs in the balance here tonight as the Lady Raiders are trying to pull up another upset. They had the lead for most of this game, but went into the locker room tied at 18. Well, so far, so good. Their defensive effort's been fantastic, and they want to keep it a half-court game, and that's exactly what they're doing with that big zone they've been playing, and they've really slowed Allen East down and give Allen East a lot of credit for their offensive rebounding. Aubrey Young comes up with a turnover almost immediately low. As Allen East looks to get the offense going, the basketball's in the hands of Ryland Jones. Ryland, she's going to dribble. We saw towards the end of that first half, Coach Montgomery trying to will Ryland Jones to spend more time getting to the basket. And she opens up the third quarter trying to do just that. Loses the ball, though, as Wayne Trace now comes back down on offense. Yeah, well, on that offensive set for Allen East, Lexi Moore just walled up and took the ball away from her. A great job by that post player at getting to the ball. Here's Harper Myers. She's going to work around. Gets cut off by Brooks. As Wayne Trace got to go back up top, try to reset. Green Winans gets it over to Caroline. Caroline now, she's going to try it. Aubrey Young is really clamped down defensively. They're looking to go to inside, but the long pass ends up over at Myers. You have Lexi Moore and Gracie, she Gracie Shepard, both with the size advantage on the inside, but because of the defense that Alanis is playing, Wayne Trace just not able to get the ball inside consistently. Yeah, L. Richardson went from the high post to the low post. She saw the post player go down there, and she did a great job of getting there before the ball done. Just a great job of, of, of moving into a position to get the ball. Finally do get it inside to Moore. Moore has to pass it back out. Here's Shepard. Gracie looking for somewhere to go with it. Passes it back out as Wayne Trey still just cannot find an opening on the inside. See Moore trying to flash to come open, but just no good or nothing good is happening right now for Wayne Trace. <laughs> really all they can say is at least right now they're not turning it over. And there it goes. Aubrey Young comes up with another steal. Gets it ahead to Jones. Jones. Gathers himself up, doesn't try to force the shot, and gets it up and in. Announcer's jinx right there. You talk about turning the ball over, and they get the turnover. And another one as the Mustangs using the out-of-bounds line as a sixth defender. You saw Coach Montgomery got pumped up right there because he knew his girls got a chance to go on a little bit of a mini run here. They're playing really, really tight defense right now. I'd like to thank tonight's premier sponsor, Carey Insurance. Carry Insurance and Grover Hill proudly investing in our youth programs and our communities. Wayne Trace trying to get a defensive stop here. Cut off Brooks, she goes to the inside, but we're gonna have a foul, and it's gonna be an offensive foul. Great job by Winans that time, getting her feet set, as you can see on the Stites grocery replay. Now Savannah Brooks just couldn't get stopped in time. She went into the defender, and really all she had to do was just kind of settle down there and just not go towards the girl, but she did that and got the charge. Now Wayne Trace works against this pressure from now on East, trying to get it up into the front court. Winans has it just taken away by Truex. Truex, bounce pass, shot is up and in. L. Richardson gets it to go down. Again, L. Richardson does a great job of running the floor. She gets on the opposite side of the ball, and it makes the defender have to come guard the ball. Extra pass up to Myers. Myers is trying to get it to Lexi Moore down low, but a great job by Brooks. Catch up on defense. Gracie Shepard goes in. Truex is going to pick up the foul. I like that move by Gracie Shepard, using her length to get to the rim. She did a nice job. It's going to be the second foul on Truex. Shepard steps to the free throw line. Allen East trying to make it back-to-back -back NWC, NWC excuse me, sectional titles. As we saw in the first game, Delphus Jefferson wins that one. Allen East can win the nightcap. That'll be two for two for the NWC. On an NWC court. A lot of NWC ties. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Shepard not able to connect from her trip at the free throw line. Brooks comes up with the rebound. 
Four point Allen East lead. The Mustangs trying to extend that one here on this possession. Jones trying to go down to the corner. And some miscommunication as L. Richardson had tried to go to run through. Brooks was trying to pass it to her. We had a fight for the loose ball. And I'll tell you what, Aubrey Young has come out here in this second half and has got a whole new energy for her team. She has, and you saw Caroline Linens just fall over top of the Allen East Mustang when she was trying to go get the ball. If she doesn't fall over top of her, there's no foul called there at all. Winans gets called for the foul. Allen East going to keep the basketball. Brooks thought about going baseline, saw the extra defender come through, kicks it back out. Now she's going to go, has to do it one more time. Jones left alone, she's going to shoot to three. Just a little bit off on that shot as Moore chases down the rebound. That was a good shot, they got the defense shifted and she was wide open, there was nothing wrong with that play at all. Here's Kareen, Kareen drops it off to Harper. Myers back up to Kareen, she's going to find Moore right around the free throw line. And right now, Wayne Trace is just trying to find the right passing lane, and they do. Gracie Shepard had done a nice job of sealing that end and gets it up and in. Yeah, she did a great job of finding the open spot. Knocks it in. Back down to a two-point game. Allen East with the basketball here. Richardson trying to go into Truex, throws that one away. Kareem, she's going to try to drive. Kicks it out. Harper back to Kareem into the corner. They're looking to go baseline one more time. Shepard has to get out of traffic. Lucky to be able to get that pass off cleanly. Yeah, she fell down. If she falls any farther, that's going to be a travel. But Allen East doing a great job of walling up. 3.40 left to go here in the third. Moore on the lob in around the free throw line. She's going to get found as Ella Richardson tried to reach in and take that one away. So Dylan Miller coming into the game. No, Richardson's going to take a seat. Nobody's, nobody's really took command of this game, Nate. It's, it's been back and forth all evening, and you're not, nobody's getting on any runs. When I said that earlier about Allen, he's getting a mini run. You felt like they were. They got up four, but Wayne Trace does a good job of getting right back in it. Yeah, that's the one thing that both of these games and all four of the teams playing in sectional finals tonight have had in common. They have just clamped down defensively. Great. Roll. Great discipline on the defensive side of things. And they force some errant shots, just like the one you saw there, as it goes out of bounds. Brooks tried to gather it in, but off her fingertips. So Wayne Trace fortunate to keep this basketball. Well, you're going to see as you go deeper down the tournament trail, you're going to have to have better defense. And, you know, both these teams are really good defensively. Uh, you know, defense travels when your offense is on an off night. Your defense will always travel. Miscommunication on an inbounds pass, trying to go to the lob to Lexi Moore. She wasn't quite ready. So it's a turnover, and that one, full, unfortunately for Allen East, did not drop. We've seen that a couple I times tonight. Yeah, right. It's the third time I can remember seeing a basketball. feel like it's going to go all the way in and then get spit back Those out. Those are good shots. You're right, Nate. That's like the, uh, the, the umpteenth time we've seen the ball go in and out. Fight for the loose ball. Young one more time with the heads-up play. Jones gets it. She's going to have it ripped away. We'll have a foul. Jones was on the left side, and I thought she should have went straight up with it. She went to the middle, and then she got away with it because she got fouled, but she should have went up on the left side. Green Winans picks up her first foul. It is the second team foul for Wayne Trace here in the half. Brooks on the give back. Three-pointer good. Now that is a great offensive set there out of that out-of-bounds play, and she was wide open and knocked it down. Brooks now with 11. Now Lee's is on top, 25-20. See Rylan Jones that time, just a little bit too aggressive on the reach in. She's going to get whistled for the foul. That'll be the fourth team foul for the Mustangs. Tip right here. You can't be behind the player and try to get the ball in front of them. They're going to call that foul every time. And that's just a mistake on her part. But she'll, she'll understand as she gets older and gets more experience. You've got to move your feet. You've got to get your body in position to use your offhand to push that ball out. Ryland Jones now with three fouls as Aubrey Young is going to pick up her third foul. It's going to be the fifth for the Mustangs here with still 2.29 left to go in the third. We're going to have a timeout on the floor and step aside. We'll be back on WOSA.
Welcome back. Stop in at Stites on Harding Highway in Lima for all your discount groceries, meat packs, deer processing, full service meat, and deli. Having a large event, Stites also caters. Give us a call. Stites Groceries, tonight's instant replay sponsor. They're going to go right down to the low post to Moore. Try to get that easy bucket coming out of that timeout. She's going to stay in that post, keep that defender behind her. Good defense by Truex. Moore had to kick it back out. Winans trying to get a little bit of room, but gets cut off, and we're going to have a travel. Yeah, you're right. Truex did not go for any of those fakes. She held her ground. She kept her feet steady, and she held her hands up. A great job of defending the post. That's such a lost start. So many times kids in the post will move their feet and get out of position instead of just walling up and making them shoot over top of you. That's what I think the f good footwork is so underrated for these oh post players. Gosh. Brooks and Jones up top. Harper almost comes up with that steal. Young down in the corner. It's Allen East just trying to find somewhere to go with it. Wayne Trace doing a nice job of forcing them out. Allen East has got to push that offense down the floor a little bit. They're standing out at the volleyball line, and they're going to get double teamed on the wings out there. You saw it almost happen there. Now they're farther back. you got to make the ball go towards the middle. And Wayne Trace, is, this has happened a few times where they've played really good defense in stretches, but then towards the end of the possession, they get a little over aggressive and bail Allen East out. And that's what happened right there. So now three team fouls for the Raiders as Brooks will take it out for the Mustangs. Now this is the biggest lead of the night, partner. Five points that we've seen all night in both games. <laughs> Going to have an illegal screen. Basketball is going to go back to the Raiders. So this one is going to go against Joe, or excuse me, Aubrey Young, and that is a big foul. As that is her fourth. Yeah. Well, when you when you move your feet to keep the screen going, they're going to call that every time, and that's what she did. I was a little surprised we didn't see somebody jump up right away, but they finally do get somebody up. As Dylan Miller is going to come into the game. That's big. That's big, Nate. That's four fouls on the starter there. And Jones has really been a difference maker here in the early going. She brought a, brand, a whole new intensity to this team. As you see, Nichols comes up with the rebound, or excuse me, the turnover. Truex gets a little bit of space, has that one blocks. Nichols was there. And three Raiders. Before the whistles were even blown, you saw Harper Myers already starting to plead her case. But <laughs> Nichols got that loose ball, and she got fouled, and she turned and gave her coach a little smile, like, ah, it's a good job, eh, coach? <laughs> so it looked like it was going to go on Harper My Myers, but the officials assessed that foul to Lexi Moore. So Nichols at the free throw line, able to connect on her first. Taylor Nichols. You just wonder, Nate, how long Wayne Trace will stay in that zone as we go to the fourth quarter, and this lead gets extended to possibly seven on this shot. A little bit short, but Nichols gets her own rebound. Miller gets it over to Brooks. Brooks left all alone, lets the three-pointer go. That one's going to be off. Fight for the loose ball, ends up back into the hands of Miller. Nichols, Mi that's all Nichols right there on that position. You know, Coach Montgomery, you know, says that Miller is their own, or Nichols, excuse me, is really their only true post player and that they were going to try to use her to disrupt the other team's length. And right there, you saw it in action. Well, she got her own rebound on the free throw, and then she gets the rebound on the offensive shot there. And that's two in a row, and it's given them the third possession of this possession. And that's really something that's been missing for most of this game. You know, you've seen Moore and Shepard really own that down low, but Nichols does a nice job. But Allen East with another opportunity. Miller picks up her dribble in a little bit of trouble, gets rid of it, and going to be a foul. And they did it again, Nate. You've talked about that a couple times. They'll play 30, 30, you know, 30, 35 seconds of really solid defense, and then they'll foul late in the count there. And what's really devastating about those fouls is, you know, Alanis isn't doing anything. Right. They're not no. trying to cut to the basket. They're not almost about ready to score. They they look a little bit lost at times. Sure. But then Wayne Trace with these fouls are bailing them out, and they get a chance to reset. That's a great point. Final 25 seconds here in the third quarter. Alanis up six. As Jones works the basketball back around. And again, another foul by the Raiders. This is going to be the fifth team foul. I believe it actually might be the sixth. It is. Abby Moore got hit in the side of the head, and she grabbed her head in there. I hope she's okay because she looks a little wobbly. They're going to take her out of the game, and that's a good move by the Wayne Trace coaching staff because she, she got hit pretty hard. 
13 seconds left to go here in the quarter. Allen East has had the basketball for quite a while. Want to come away with some points. Brooks, floater, no good. Fight for the loose ball, ends up in the hands of Miller. Shepard sends it back the other way. Last two seconds, up ahead. Winans gets it off, but can't get it to go down. A great job running the floor. After three quarters of play, Allen East on top, 26-20. We'll step aside and be back with the fourth on WOSA. Welcome back. Tonight's instant replays are sponsored by Stites Grocery. Stop in at Stites on Harding Highway in line for your discount groceries, meat packs, deer processing, full service meat, and deli. Are you having a large event? Stites also caters. Give us a call. Welcome back to Lincoln View High School for tonight's sectional final. Nate Garlock alongside Danny Holbrook. Allen East on top, 26-20, but Wayne Trace hanging around. Right now, they're doing a nice job of stifling the offense of Allen East, but they got to get the fouls under control. You look at Wayne Trace, 7-2 in their last nine games. You look at Allen East, they've won six of their seven. So both these squads are playing their best basketball. And we're going to have another whistle. This one is going to send Brooks to the free throw line. They're going to assess this one on Kareen Winans. Well, that is Kareem's third foul, team seventh. So from here on out, Allen East will be in the bonus. And I'm sure Coach Montgomery told his kids, look, if we get to the rim one more time and we get a foul, we're going to be shooting shots here from the free throw line. So a good strategy by the Allen East bench to tell his kids get to the rim. A rare miss out of Savannah Brooks, an 82% free throw shooter, makes the adjustment on the second. Seven enough, or excuse me, seven point lead is there on top. 27 20. Harper yeah. Myers <laughs> does a great job not to drag that foot, but it ends up in a turnover anyway. That's a great job by Brooks right there when she caught the ball there and she had a chance to go to the rim, but with a seven point lead, she pulls it back out and she's going to set the offense up. Richardson tries to slip it down to Nichols, goes out of bounds, and will go back to the Raiders. Nichols kind of got shaded by a couple players down low. I don't think she saw the ball that well. It went out of bounds past the baseline. She was standing down there, but she had two players on her. Double team comes as soon as she crosses half court as Caroline Winans loses that one out of bounds. It's going to go back to the Lady Mustangs as their defense right now is just clamping down on Wayne Trace. Yeah, well, you know, part of Allen East is defensive keys. We talked about them before the game was to apply ball pressure, full court pressure. Coach Montgomery wants the guards to get out on the ball. Here's Brooks, hands it off to Truex. Truex going to go into the lane. Nice job at reversing her directions, but can't get that one to go down. Rebound ends up into the hands of Kareen. As she's going to look to go baseline, kicks it back out to Harper. Harper, three-point try, and that one's going to be short. That's yep. another one that was on the line. That should have went in if she'd stepped up. See Coach Montgomery putting both hands up, wanting them to slow down. Ryland Jones decides to go a full head of steam all the way in. Finally gets one to go in. That's a great job from Jones to get to the rim like that. Out of bounds. Winans gets cut off along that end line. And we're going to have another timeout as Wayne Trace wants to talk about it. 6.27 left to go here in the game as Allen East has a nine-point lead. We'll step aside and be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Our scoreboard is presented by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpawk, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. He, and Coach Montgomery in his pregame keys, he, he, he says, we want to attack that zone, we can open up that zone. And I think they've done a really good job this half of getting to the rim. Jones is going to take the inbounds, gets it to Nichols. Nichols puts a shot up. And what a great way to come out of the timeout and pushes this lead to double digits. Boy, Nichols had a smile as long as my arm. She was excited about that. I like her passion for this game. Taylor Nichols only averaging 2.2 points a game. Comes up with a big bucket as Harper picks up the foul that time. It looked like Truex was in good position. Might have had just a little bit of the arm. 
Yeah, Harper Myers went to the rim and she got fouled. And the Kennedy Truex grabbed her mouth like she got maybe hit in the face or something. Not real sure what happened down there. We'll have to see that on the replay. And this is what Wayne Trace is going to have to do. They're going to have to find ways of scoring with the clock stopped as Myers gets the first one to go down for a couple of reasons. One, you know, obviously down double digits. You're trying to find ways to come back. You know the clock's on in your side. But quite frankly, when the offense has been out there, they just haven't had a lot of luck. This Mustang defense has just it's, it's, it's it's been, been stifling. Yeah, yeah, they, they can't really get has. anything going. And their best chance of scoring right now is from the free throw line. Yeah. Great hustle play by Harper. And she's going to get fouled. She's going to go back to the free throw line as L. Richardson will pick this one up. Yeah, that's a great job. And trying to get something going here. And L. Richardson just kind of over aggressive on that play. So here you see them getting more opportunities with the clock stopped. And, and Harper Myers looked really good the last couple of shots. So Myers going to go back to the free throw line. Team down nine. Myers connects on this one. Myers, a 57% free throw shooter on the season. Coming up big here in this fourth from the line. Second shot is up, and it is good. Now you see Wayne Trace putting the pressure on, but nobody picks up Brooks, so she gets to go all the way up the court completely unguarded. Well, that was just miscommunication on Wayne Trace's part because they weren't set up like they should have been. Jones has to clear out and finally a five second call as Brooks had nowhere to go with the basketball. Nobody came over for the help and another quick turnover for the Lady Mustangs. Well, now you're seeing Wayne Trace has amped up the defensive pressure here and they've gotten a couple steals here and a turnover. So this one's far from over, partner. The biggest problem they had, have had so far is right here and that's getting that basketball up into the front court. Myers does a nice job dribbling through the traffic. This is what they're going to need to do. They're going to need to let those post players go to work. Winans lines up a three-pointer. That one's off. Good box out by Brooks. We'll see who this foul's on. And it looks like it will go oh. on. They caught her on Savannah Brooks, I believe, right? That's what I believe, yes. It is going to go on Brooks. It looked like she was in good position on that box out. But they're going to say that there was a hold. I think yes. that's what they're saying. You're absolutely right. And so Harper Myers is going to go to the free throw line one more time. <laughs> Myers lets the first shot go. This one rattles out. Good, re good rebound by Richardson. L brings it all the way up as Myers trying to guard her. She's going to reach in as that is going to be foul number three on Harper. Did you see how Richardson high-pointed that rebound? At the height of her jump, she gets the ball. That was a great job. So the foul is now really adding up for both teams. That's the eighth team foul for Wayne Trace. Nine team fouls for Allen East. As Richardson's first free throw goes down. Substitution coming into the game as you see Kareen Winans checking in for Lexi Moore. Can't imagine that Moore is going to be sitting out for too I, long I was here say, in the I, don't, I think she's just going to get a quick breather, drink water, and, and back in the game. Look at the hustle play by Richardson. Tracks, tracks down that rebound. Now she's going to try to drive and score again. Gets it to go down. And Harper Myers picks oh, it. They're and not, they're going to say yeah, no foul on the floor. On the floor. But either way, Myers going to pick up the foul. That'll be her fourth. And you can see it from up here. You know, she didn't go up. It wasn't, you know, a, a guiding hand on there. Yeah. There was some extension on that push. Yeah. Well, the, the difference in the game right now is the guard play from Allen East on the defensive end, creating offensive possessions, and they're doing a great job. Richardson able to make the first one. Richardson connects on the second. So back out to a double-digit lead after Wayne Trace did a nice job of getting back within two possessions. That one almost taken away. Winans has to get rid of it. Myers, she lets a three-pointer go. That one's no good. See Gracie Shepard come up with the rebound. Ends up on the floor. And we're going to have a timeout. Wow. 
Fortunate call as it looked like that one might have gotten a little bit out of control. So Wayne Trace takes a timeout. We will as well, and we'll be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's premier sponsor for the Wing Trace Raiders is Carry Insurance in Grover Hill. Proudly investing in our youth programs and our communities. So Wayne Trace takes the time now as they wanted to preserve the possession. See what they drew up. See if they can get some points off this out-of-bounds play. It's a good start going right into Shepard. I'd like to see her go towards the rim. She's got a height advantage on, on Kennedy Truex. There's Kareen Winans, gets it back up to Caroline, and passes it right back down into the corner to Myers. You can tell they're trying to go to that inside. Yeah. As Shepard's working hard to get position, and we're going to have a foul. This one's going to go on Brooks. Yeah, Savannah Brooks knew as soon as she fouled her, she knew she did. She got slaps her hands, and she knew what she did there. That's the difference between moving your feet and moving your hands. She moved her hands instead of moving her feet and getting position. So that is the 10th team foul, so two foul shots coming for Harper Myers. First free throw is good. Harper Myers has taken the last eight free throws for Wayne Trace. 34-25 on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. Lee's Famous Chess Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpock, and Delph is called Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken home style happens here. Fight for the loose ball, gonna go out of bounds, I believe, so it'll go back to the Mustangs. Harper Meyer had the ball and she just stepped out of bounds. So here comes the full court pressure from Wayne Trace. Get the basketball into Jones and everybody retreats. It's that man pressure, you just clear it out and let your guard bring the ball down the floor. Moore trying to play tightly to Jones. Wayne Trace needs possessions. Got to find a way to get this basketball back. Richardson, she's going to drive, kicks it off to Miller. She gets into the lane. Brooks looking for Truex down low, not there. Decides to keep it herself, has it poked away, but Miller comes up with it. Truex going to drive again, goes up and under, but has it rejected. Great job by Gracie Shepard of recognizing the dribble drive, and she gets in the spot and blocks the shot. That time, Harper Myers missed an opportunity. She had her teammate running the floor. But I think she thought the contact was coming, so she wasn't looking underneath the basket. Fortunately for Wayne Trace, this one goes out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Raiders. Myers long pass into Winans. Green gets it over to Caroline. Extra pass to Myers in the corner. Ends up with Shepard open. Here goes Abby Moore. She gets it up off the glass. No good. Fight for the rebound. Ends up on the floor. Myers ends up on top of it. But I believe Truex was able to reach in there to tie it up. Possession arrow favors the Raiders. Well, Wayne Trace, I don't want to say it's desperation mode here, but you, you got to get some offense right now. You're, you're down nine. We got 338 to go. And you know Allen East is going to take their time on their offensive possessions. You really got to get a bucket here. Inbounds coming to Moore. Moore gets it over to Winans. Winans had some space there, decides to pass it off. They get it down to Shepard. Shepard up into the glass. She's going to get fouled on the free throw line. Going to try to shoot two right now. All the scoring for Wayne Trace coming from the free throw line. Yeah, and I know Winans was wide open, but they, they, they swing the ball around. They got Shepard in a good position here, and now she's got a chance to put points on the board with the clock stop. So a, a better play there by Wayne Trace. And that foul was assessed to L. Richardson, who is now fouled out of this game with 3.30 left to go. Yeah, that's a big loss for Alan East. She's played a quality game tonight. Tonight's instant replays are sponsored by Stites Groceries. You see the first free throw go in. Stop into Stites on Harding Highway in Lima for your discount grocery, meat pads, deer processing, full service meat in Delhi. Having a large event, Stites also caters. Give us a call. Gracie Shepard lines up her second shot. It is up. That one's no good. Nichols fights for the loose ball, and a foul will be called as this one is going to go on Caroline Winans. I didn't I, I, She was going for the ball, but I didn't see a lot of contact there. The official had a better view than I did. He was on the other side of the floor. But boy, I, I didn't see much contact there at all. Just the second foul on Caroline. As Wayne Trace has gotten this back to an eight point deficit. Ah! 
Taylor Nichols connects on the first. The sophomore now with four points on the night, only averages just over two a game. She's come up big for her team. Second free throw rattles out, fight for the loose ball. Myers somehow able to save it, but ends up back in the hands of Ryland. Ryland Jones falls out of bounds, so it's going to go back to the Raiders. Well, it seems like Wayne Trace has got a lot of possessions here in the last two minutes, and they're still down nine. I mean, as far as game script goes, Danny, yeah. this is how it needed to go for Wayne <laughs> right. Trace to get back in the right. game. They just haven't been able to score enough. And credit Allen East defense, because they've been ball hawks all night. Extra pass to Moore. She lets the shot go in. It's good. That's a big jumper right there. That, that's, that's really big. They needed that one. And I've, I honestly have lost track on the clock how long it's been since we've seen a shot from the field for Wayne Trace as they have spent most of this fourth quarter on the free throw line. Brooks can't connect on that layup. So an opportunity here to make this a four to five point game. Another shot as Moore is on fire. 35-30. Well, if you're Allen East, you need to relax right now. You've got the lead. They really rushed that last shot. And they need to just have a good set right here. And they're going to get a foul out top. Kareen Wine is going to get whistled for the foul. That's going to be foul number four on Kareen. And Ryland Jones will go to the free throw line where she shoots at 70%. And they actually have the score at 31-35. It looked yeah. to me like that shot on the other side was just a two-pointer. But they credited it there. Oh, there they they, they yeah, fixed they it now. It, yeah. I was just like you. I, I, I didn't think it was a three-pointer. Ryland Jones. She converts one of two, but then a foul by Truex. Yeah, that, that's, that's unfortunate. You can't, if you're Allen East, you can't keep giving Wayne Trace opportunities. you got to close the deal here. you got a six-point lead. Fourth foul on Truex. Allen East wants to take the timeout. It's going to be a full timeout, so we'll step aside again. We'll be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's premier sponsor for the Wayne Trace Raiders is Carry Insurance in Grover Hill, proudly investing in our youth programs and our community. Alanis takes the timeout as Wayne Trace is going to make another trip to the free throw line as both teams are in the double bonus. Wayne Trace, they're getting what they need to stay in this game as far as the clock stops and opportunities <laughs> to score. They just have to convert a better than a 50% clip from the line. Yeah, offense has been at a premium for the Raiders right now, but fortunately for them, they're capitalizing right now at the line. A couple <laughs> of big baskets by Abby Moore. Now some trips to the free throw line. Makes this a five-point game with a chance to cut it to four. Harper Myers has lived with the line this quarter. This one's going to go out of bounds. Some miscommunication on the inbounds as Truex tried to fit the bounce pass into a tight space. Ryland Jones not able to gather that one in. So the Raiders now with an opportunity to make this a one-possession game. We'll see if the defense from Allen East continues to play aggressive. Myers, three-pointer. That one's going to be short. Fight for the loose ball. No whistle. As Truex finally able to get rid of it. Well, you're going to see Wayne Trace really amp up the defense here. Down four with 2.20 to go. And they need a turnover. And Allen East, you just got to keep your composure right now. And you got to, you know, well, I thought there was going to be a foul right there. Fighting through a lot of traffic up top. The officials not blowing the whistle there, so Jones works against Winan. Another bump, and now we'll have a foul. And the one thing, Alan East, the guards don't want to do, you don't want to start taking your man towards the other player. You know, you got to spread the floor out. And when you're dribbling towards the player, you're going to create two defenders who can stop the ball. See Coach Montgomery talking to Savannah Brooks, trying to explain, you guys have got to get to the basket. We can't keep trying to just weave up top. Jones not able to connect on her first. Second free throw is good. Back to a five point difference. Wayne Trace has struggled with this full court press all night long. They're going to have to hurry to beat the 10 second. Winans. And we'll see what happens here. And we have a timeout. timeout yeah. A great timeout by the Wayne Trace bench. 
because we were about to see another turnover by the Lady Raiders. Yeah, and Allen East, the fans were pretty upset because they were screaming 10 on that side. Tonight's scoreboard is presented by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpock, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Nate Garlock alongside Danny Holbrook. We've had a night of great basketball in the sectional finals. You know, they haven't been high scoring games. Defenses have been on display, but when it came down to it, they have been tight, contested games. What you're expecting when these titles are on the line. Yeah, I said earlier in the broadcast that defense travels, and, and you look at Allen East, and, and you said it too, that Wayne Trace wanted to slow this thing down. Allen East wants to get up and go, and so far it's been a half court set. You know, Wayne Trace has had it their way, but they just haven't hit shots. They haven't shot the ball well on the offensive end, so they've had to create this quarter on their defensive end, and that's what they've done. They've used defense to create offense. The winner of tonight's game will go on to Elida to face Delphus Jefferson as they were victorious, knocking off Coldwater in the sectional final earlier tonight. That Neat. Whichever team wins this one, that'll be a rematch against the Lady Cats. It's a really good Delphi Jefferson team, by the way. And they, Coldwater came in on upset alert as Harper lets the three-pointer go. That one's short. Fight for the loose ball, ends up on the floor. Winans comes up with it, gets it taken away. Great job, Malanese, of not quitting on the play. That, that's fantastic effort by the guards from Malanese there. Now Jones. At some point, Wayne Trace is going to have to make some decisions on when they're going to try to foul. As Allen East knows the clock is on their side, they are not in any big hurry. They are good. And we have finally do have that five-second call. Well, look, the guards from Allen East have got to understand. They, they've got to go towards the basket. But I think this official is going to give the timeout because Coach Montgomery was screaming for the timeout. And this, yeah, that's exactly what happened. And he does get it. I think you were right. I saw the same thing. But it looked like maybe the officials had missed it, but they hadn't. So a 30-second timeout by Allen East. We'll step aside and be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's instant replays are sponsored by Stites Grocery. Stop in to Stites on Harding Highway in Lima for your discount groceries, meat packs, deer processing, full service meat and deli. Having a large event? Call Stites. They cater. I'll tell you what I like about that last play, Nate. The officials got together. They realized how important that call was. They all got together and agreed on that call. You're, you know, you're a sectional championship 121 away. You don't want to make the wrong call. They got together and made the right call. On the other side, if you're a Wayne Trace fan, that's a big call as you're sure. about to get that basketball back. We saw the timeout save Wayne Trace from the turnover, the possession before. This time it was Allen East's turn. Minute 12 left to go, five point game. Brooks with the basketball. Some point they're going to have to start fouling because Allen East does not want anything to do with trying to get to the rim to score. But they're doing a better job of moving the ball towards the rim so they don't get the five second call. And they do finally foul Jones. I think a little bit of a mistake was made that time as when Nichols had that basketball, that's who I would have wanted to send to the free throw line. The freshman hasn't played in many big games, only averaging two points a game compared to the sophomore Jones who shoots at a 70% clip. On the Allen East student section is saying bye bye, but it's uh, <laughs> now that's, oh, that's oh, going no. to Winans. Oh, I see. That Kareem she fouled Winans out. Yeah, you're has right. fouled out of the game. Gotcha. Gotcha. I thought they were waiting to the crowd. I'm thinking, man, we're, we're, we're still got a tight one here, but you're right. That was the, the this, she fouled out. So Ava Zartman has to come into the game. Jones leaves the first free throw short. So no matter what happens here, it'll still be a two possession game with 53 seconds left to go. Wayne Trace going to have to go quick. Time is not on their side. Jones connects on the second. One's going to go out there. As I'm, I'm, I don't know why <laughs> Wayne Trace continues to inbound the ball to say that the corner thing. in that position. Every time they do, they, they have not had good luck as that time almost turned it over again. A fortunate heads up play by Caroline to get that one off an Allen's player. Uh, I was thinking the exact same thing, Nate. Here's Moore. Gets it to Harper. Harper looks to drive. Gets it up. A tough shot wow. off the glass. That was a tough shot. You are correct, Nate. 
She went amongst the trees and made that one. 38-33, gonna have a foul. That's now Wing Trace is, has very little clock time to work with. Now, now if you're Coach Montgomery, you're telling your kids two things. If we don't turn the ball over and we don't miss foul shots, we're going to win a sectional title. Just do those two things. Now, easier said than done when, the, when, when Wayne Trace is all around you, but really, just make your free throws. Jones' first shot is up, and it is good. I'd like to thank tonight's premier sponsor, Carry Insurance. They are the premier sponsor for the Wayne Trace Raiders. Carry Insurance in Grover Hill, proudly investing in our youth programs and our communities. Wayne Trace, they got to go quick. Works through the screen. Almost a backcourt violation there. But fortunate pass out. Zartman off the bench. Shoots no good. Lexi Moore was there for the putback. Can't get it to go down for the end one, but she will make a trip to the free throw line with 19 seconds to go. Well, she missed the shot, but she's going to go to the line with the clock stopped. So these are huge free throws to make it a two-possession game. Moore's free throw is good. Cuts this to a six-point deficit. So now Wayne Trace going to have to be strategic, trying to decide where they want, who they're going to let free to get the basketball as Moore connects on the second. And we're going to have a timeout. You can hear the Allen East bench asking if the score is right. I believe it's, I believe it is, right? Uh, yeah. But I'm, or was it? I believe they may have just given him, because I thought it was going to make it a five-point right, game. Right, you're right. You're absolutely right. So I believe I, it's it a five-point deficit instead of a four-point deficit, yeah. unless they're making up a point that they had missed earlier. So there's some confusion. We'll, they'll get that figured out. We'll confirm, and we'll be back on WOSA. Oh, the scoreboard still says 40 to 36. So just a four point game as of right now. 19 seconds left to go. Jones gets it. She's going to be fouled immediately. Going to go to the free throw line. So, you know, uh, we're still a little confused I, up yeah, here in the say, booth. I'm, yeah, I think some of the fans from Wayne Trace are a little confused too, but uh, nothing's and changed. And you can see Coach Montgomery talking about it as well. It looks like he got an explanation. So maybe there was something that was well, why don't you come up here and tell us? <laughs> that they had missed earlier in the game, but now they have fixed. It's a heck of a time to put extra points on the board. Because well, I, mean, I didn't want to say something. Two possessions ago when we were talking that we were, they were going to make it a two-possession game be five right. points, when I looked up, it actually it, the score had looked like it was going to be off. Um, you know, so maybe maybe I had the right count. And now they just finally yeah. fixed it. But either way, five point game now. Fifteen seconds left to go. Harper needs some help. Gets rid of it. Moore gets the basketball. They got to shoot quick. Ten seconds to go. Can't take the time. Winans lines up the three. That one's gonna be short. If that could have gone in, it still would have been some life for the Raiders. But with 3.2 seconds left to go and a five point deficit, and they're just gonna run out of time here on this comeback. Now, if you're Allen East, you just you get everybody off the line, knock these shots down, and you cut some red, cut the nets down. Ryland Jones has had a great game. With, now has 15 points. See Coach Montgomery just pushing her whole team or his whole team back as Jones connects. Now She'll you just stay away from the ball. Yep, and she, she will finish with 16 on the night. Last second shot on its way. That one's no good. And the Allen East Mustangs come away with the sectional title. Yeah, great job from Allen East. They came out in the second half with a really good mindset of, of continually getting after the guards from Wayne Trace. And they really did a great job of disrupting the offense uh, of Wayne Trace. And on their offensive end, they did a great job of getting to the rim and attacking that Wayne Trace zone. Allen East has a hard fought victory tonight as they top the Wayne Trace Raiders 43 to 36, and they are your 2023 sectional champions. They will go on to play Delphus Jefferson, the sectional champ of the early game tonight at Elida on the 23rd, which will be a rematch of a game um, from an NWC game earlier this season. That should be a great matchup. 
That Delphus Jefferson team is very, very difficult uh, to beat. They are a very good team, very well coached. A superstar in Liv Lindemann, lots of pieces around her. 22-1 on the season. Had a little bit of a scare earlier tonight against Coldwater, but they pulled it out, and that should be an excellent district semifinal uh, matchup. I'm excited about the matchup between the Allen East defensive guards and Liv Lindemann. They're going to cause problems. They can come at you in waves, and Liv Lindemann is a consummate floor general, really good at knowing how to break you down. It's going to be a great game. So that is just going to about wrap it up for us here tonight. We'd like to thank our crew, Jacob and Marshall, doing a great job working the cameras. As always, we appreciate everything that you guys do. One final time from Lincoln View High School. Alan East is your sectional champ with a 43-36 victory over the Wayne Trace Raiders. Danny Holbrook, I'm Nate Garlock. Thanks for tuning in, and have a great night, everybody.